Early in the morning, early in the morning, early in the morning. What's going on, the people? That's your boy Cam Topical Juice, and well, 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 what do we have here? Timmy, Timmy, remember me, Timmy? Hey, listen, I told you, I told you, we ain't staying off your neck. I gave you a little bit of a breather. I gave you a breather because you buried your head in the sand, I got busy, you know, my life, I'm still living my life, I had my own mental problems and all that, you know what I'm saying, I'm still dealing with my own life problems, but bro, I ain't keeping my foot off your damn neck, remember me, Timmy? Yeah, remember me? You f***ing disgusting little tramp, I, listen, yeah, I swear, listen, I swear down here, yeah, I swear, sometimes I feel bad, sometimes I feel bad bullying 90 year old men, you know, but then sometimes I think, you know what, if I ever saw you in real life, I'd love to slap you so hard, it would turn you young. Yeah, I'll slap you so hard it'll turn you past tense, bro. You understand? Because you're a flipping wrong un. Yeah, now guys, if you don't know, yeah, dirty, disgusting Tim Nonswood, he's been a he's been a wrong un for years. Yeah, that's why he's fled the country. That's why he don't live here no more. Yeah, because he couldn't handle the pressure. Couldn't handle the pressure from the authorities, from TJ, and you know you're guilty of everything that people have accused you of. Yeah, and once again, once again, this UK, this UK is this, this UK is embarrassing. You know, all these UK rappers, all these UK celebrities. Where are they calling out Tim Westwood? Where are they calling out Diddy? They ain't really there, are they? Because they're all fake, because they're all getting their back blown out by these people. This is what I'm saying. All these people, yeah. The people in this industry and all this stuff, they're all fake, man. Let me let me give you some let me give you some context, yeah. Tim Westwood has been accused over the years of really abusing his power when it comes to women. Not just women, black women. He has been fetishizing black women his whole career. Oh yeah, dog. Oh yeah, dog. Yeah, oh twerk that. Oh my God, twerk that, baby. Oh yeah, dog. Oh my God, baby. Shut up. Shut up, pussy. Who do you think you are? Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, dog. Yeah, and, and, and then getting these girls, black women, usually his DJ shows, he, he preys on them. Yeah, and then he used his position of influence to really kind of like groom them. Do you understand? Now, some women will probably just choose to sleep with Tim Westwood because of the clout that he has. I don't know what clout he's got anymore, but some sort of clout, right? But a lot of them, he's just abusing his power. And I was exposing him, I was exposing him, exposing him, exposing him, and then he tried to take my videos down. Yeah, Tim Nonswood tried to take my videos and succeeded actually. He succeeded in taking some of my videos down for defamation. Defamation. It ain't defamation when I'm speaking facts, you mug. No wonder you fled the country. Yeah, you fled to Nigeria. This just proves what I'm talking about. We're gonna get into all this before I get irate on this mug. Let me actually let me actually get straight into this video, man. So if, anyway, like the video for me, yeah. Takes half a second, makes a massive difference on how the YouTube video performs in the algorithm. Press that subscribe button for me. Um, merchandise in the description, press the bell to be notified, all of that, all of that. We are cooking opposite. Ingredients lined up, smoked catfish, stockfish, the ground crayfish, the periwinkle. Our meat, which is chicken and beef, the yellow and red peppers, and of course, we've got the okra. We want to cut the okra into fine little pieces, and that is important. Slice the okra up, cut it into little pieces. But what we also do as well, we want to blend the okra. Look at this guy, okra, what are you doing in Nigeria? You're not really helping your case, are you? What happened is, is this guy is ducking the feds, you lot. There's a case brewing against him in this country and my man did the Russell Simmons thing. He did the Russell Simmons treatment, he ran. Yeah, he fled. He parked up where? Of all the countries to go to, he went to Nigeria. Ha! Ah. <laughs> you ain't ever gonna duck the allegations that you prey on black women, you fuck, yeah? You, this is what you do. Yeah, uh, brother, you know what? I'm, I'm even gonna be in Nigeria next year for my brethren's um, wedding. So brother, we'll see each other anyway. If you ain't in England back then, I'll pressure you in Nigeria. I'll follow you across there, you know? Because not only that, not only is he trying to cook, teach people how to cook in um, cook okra on, online, he's, he's hosting flipping events in Nigeria. He's hosting them. Look at, look, at, look, look at your screen right now. He is hosting events right there in Nigeria. And to be honest, Scar City Studios, I don't know why um, my man's sh sharing Tim Westwood like this. Like uh, talking about our oh, DJ Tim Westwood has reinvented himself as a chef, bro. I hope you're I hope you're joking. I like Scar City Studios a lot, but let's not. We're not doing that. Yeah, let's let's call him what it is: dirty, disgusting, pedo, nonce. All of that has fled the country to Nigeria to try and reinvent himself. It's not, we're not going to do yeah, reinventing himself as a chef. So we're not going to do that, Scar City. But anyway, outside of that, my man's trying to teach people okra. Oh, cooking in Lagos. Oh, part two, bro. What are you talking about? Man really thinks he's the culture, you know. Man really thinks he's the culture. Yeah, you know what, I ain't gonna lie. I grew up listening to Tim Westwood. I used to have the Big Dog albums. Big Dog, yeah dog, yeah dog. I, I think I had Big Dog part one and two, I think. 
Yeah, back in the day when I was young and I didn't know any better, I used to listen to Tim Westwood. He used to gas me out because he used to play the best hip hop um, rhythms. You feel me? But my man, he, he ain't the culture, bro. Yeah, just because you, you've been in the culture for 30, 40 years, gemming it, you ain't the culture, bro. So now he's running away and running into Nigeria, trying to target girls out there. Anyway, we're, we're even gonna get to the, we're even gonna get to the mad thing. I'm just waffling bare right now, but I'm just so, I, I, I hate this guy so much. I'm so irate, trying to take my videos down for defamation. Nah, motherfucker, I swear that. Anyway, anyway, there ain't nothing, diff there ain't nothing, there ain't nothing but facts in this. You feel me? Stop running. Stop running to me. Timmy! As you can see on your screen right now, a video released on a dark web page, Blind Item, has leveled some incriminating allegations against Nigerian cross-dresser Bobrisky. In the document, a British DJ, DJ Diddy Westwood, was linked to Bobrisky and is suggested to be the baron the cross-dresser works for. Bobrisky was also accused of being part of an international criminal organization that is involved in human that word, child, that word, and money laundering. A document making the rounds online about Nigerian crossdresser Idris Okunye, aka Bobrisky, and a British DJ Westwood as Nonswood, Diddy Nonswood, has sparked massive reactions on social media. In the viral documents, it was alleged that Bobrisky's LGBTQ activities in Nigeria are linked to some of the shady businesses he's involved in. It was also alleged that Bobrisky works in collaboration with British DJ Diddy Nonswood, who is currently under investigation in the UK for money laundering and human brafficking. Yeah, so I gotta do different words because you know how YouTube be. The viral document claimed Bobrisky of being the head of the African operations run by DJ Nonswood with the office in Senegal. My man is literally running international rings. He's coming like, he's coming like Diddy. This is the UK Diddy, bro. Defamation, suck your mother, man. So not only that, he's fled to Africa, yeah? And he's now hiring trans people and I don't know, I don't know who Bob Risky is, but it's some cross-dresser trans person. And obviously he's clearly got some, you know, brother, he'll do anything. He, he's like Diddy, he don't care. As long as you're black and you got a hole, mate, no problem. Yeah, male, female, both. He don't care. You know what I'm saying? He don't care. He's one of them people that have to use their power to get what they want. This 90 year old man, bro. I swear down the day, the day he drops dead. Celebrate. Yeah, it will be alright. Fuck what's wood. How Bob Risky pimps young girls and men. According to the document released by Blind Item, Bob Risky helps many Nigerian politicians run their money laundering scams through Westwood shell companies, which in return provide in protection. It was also noted that some of these men organized private retreats for them to sleep with young gal and people of the same sex. The release of the incriminating documents came days after Bobrisky was arrested and charged with multiple counts of laundering and violation of the Naira. On your screens right now, read a blind. This is the blind item thing. CDAN has eyes everywhere. Someone who stamped the male DJ's passport in Nigeria noticed that he has traveled to predominantly black countries since he was exposed as a predator. This is the British male DJ, Diddy Nonswood, who looks like the witch from Snow White. Damn right he does. He doesn't know what's about to hit him if he thinks he can get away with hunting little girls in those countries. One of the countries, Senegal, he targets is the same one the Bob Media personality runs his agency from. Timothy, Bro, they're coming for you, Timmy. Your days are numbered. You're even lucky you made it to 90 years old, to be honest, bro. You're, you're, you're lucky you made it to 105 years old in the first place. When they come for you, oh, it's gonna be great. For you, you're gonna be like, oh, Kelly, listen, you are Kelly Diddy, you're gonna share a, same, a cell together, bro, because that you're all part of the same ring, yeah? And what, who did, who did Nonswood used to work for? Oh, BBC, shock, shock. And you still got some weirdos, some clown people that don't believe that Hollywood and all these other big industries are tied in with with trafficking, with rings, with non-sophilia. With non it's clear as day. BBC have been protecting these people for years, whether it was Savile, whether it was Glitter, yeah, all these people, all of them. Shit, even ITV, they're all the same. All these people, they're all the same. Yeah, Timmy, Timothy, they're coming for you. Your days are numbered, big man. Or oh, little man, skinny man. Yeah, you ain't gonna survive in jail. You're gonna die there, you're gonna be holding pockets, gonna be gemming it to the black people in there. Oh, yeah, dog. Yeah, dog. Yeah, I used to play your songs on my radio, dog. Yeah, baby. You idiot, man. I swear, I, listen, I'm gonna be sending you letters in jail. Timmy! Timmy! Just count yourself lucky that you made it to 204 years old. Yeah, you're lucky. Prick. Anyway, yeah, and obviously I'm disappointed as well because when you read it, when you read this blind item, obviously I don't know if it's facts, but I mean, we know what he's been accused of for 10, 30, 40 years. It obviously, it's facts when it comes to him, but I'm disappointed because clearly some people in these African countries are protecting him. And this is what we don't, this is, this is, this is what we don't like. 
Yeah, this is why this is why it's disappointing in my own community. Why do we do things like this? We just let other people from different demographics just dominate us. Come in here and you're protecting them for what? Some of these, like, whether it's Nigeria or Senegal, whatever, why are we protecting this nonce? Get him gone. You know, when them slugs hit him all them years ago, they should have hit him in his flipping dome. Anyway, let me know your thoughts, man. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.